do you like games that are trash? So let's talk about it. The Super Death Game Show has begun again this week. Will you be a millionaire or will you die? In Super Death Game Show, you will be challenged to perform a variety of super simple, simpleton tasks. Each mission will have prizes and rewards for completing it. Woo fucking who. Prizes range from minimum of 10 million yen to several million hundred yens. That way, if you complete 10 missions, you win, you walk away as a champion, will you take the prize, money, home, or will you fail a mission and die? Well... That is pretty much the facts about the game. Let's get into the real reason why you clicked on this video from overall thoughts, impression, and review. And boys, well, let me just say this. Super Death Game Show VR is doofied garbage shit turns in a basket that was grown in a shitified garden. Shitified chips, not solidified. Pumped with some steroids of copium because it's like the dev didn't know what the fuck they were doing when they released this unholy sin of a tech demo. What you get here is a complete scam of money. The main price is around $15, and after tax, it's probably $17. Currently, at the time of this review, it is 5 bucks. if you have the PlayStation Plus, and even that is an extremely tough sell. Currently, you will experience everything this game has to offer in one hour tops, and the replayability is dookie. You just speed running the same missions that you already know how to solve once you know how to solve them every single time faster and faster. And if you're a trophy hunter, well there's no platinum trophy here, just in case you were thinking it was an easy platinum, you are highly mistaken. This game will fuck you in the ass, beat you up, and run off with your money. Just like that sexy prostitute that you had that really gut feeling about, but you let your dick do the talking instead. I don't even understand why the hell this thing exists on the store in the first place. This game is like WarioWare contracted Down Syndrome. And then it tried to play itself off like everything is normal. There's a lot of few things this game got going on for it, but it tricks you by limiting your missions to 10. And there's way more missions that you can unlock by checking a few things around the room or just surviving other missions or, you know, surviving, air quotes, the harder ones. Um, and pretty much these things you can solve by just not being stupid, actually using your brain, or through trial and error. The deaths in this game are stupid and they barely give you the satisfaction that you think it should because the whole emphasis is if you fail you'll get a death. And it's just dutified garbage. Shits. It's really diarrhea. Visually and non-visually. I did like a few of the modes that the game had to offer and I liked getting a few of the weapons like the sword and the revolver and playing what seems to be a poor man's version of Galaga. And my favorite mission or mode or whatever is the soccer blocking minigame or in other countries you would call it football. Uh, that was pretty much my favorite but then I learned you can cheese it by just grabbing the fire extinguisher and you didn't even have to really play it like the game really supposed to. The physics in this game is actually nice and really surprisingly good and the performance runs buttery smooth, no crashes, no hiccups but there's not a lot going on here and the ideas that this game have are extremely good but it's just poorly made and poorly thought out and it's literally just money grab, money gram, scamma ass. And it's just, I don't know, unpleasing. There's an innovative and creativity in games, and this game tries to have it, but this just isn't it, Chief. You can see that there's like a TV with a chat, and it's cool, it's engaging, it just needs more love and more charm because it's all cycling through the same sentences over and over, and it's just stupid. The mini games are fun, but like I said, once you figure them out, they just suck, they're dull, they're boring, they're uninspiring after a while. And the only way this game or a game like this could work is if there was way more engaging deaths, like falling through the floors, like it was a trap door, if you die or something and you can like see yourself falling and you can see spikes and blood or whatever. Or like the host like comes out of his cave or whatever and just like shoots you in the head and, and you feel like the HD rumble. Like there's just so many other things that this the devs could have did other than an explosion or a lightning. It just really felt cheap and I laughed a lot. The voice acting sucks. It's due to fight garbage diarrhea verbally and hearing my ears. It will hurt your eardrums. It's dumpster fire, dumpster juice, guava juice. Yo, barbecue game, trashified, assified, unclassified, unsatisfactory. It's 
desensitized. Th this game needs to be banned. Ban this game from the store. Ban it. Uh, and anyone would probably ask, why the hell would you purchase this after watching the trailer? And there's three simple reasons I say. One, have you ever seen something so trash that you wanted to experience it for yourself first? That's number one. Number two, I'm not a fan of really shitting on things unless you experience it for yourself. So I had to, so I could shit on it. And number three, content farm, baby. Content is king, and I gotta keep producing content. And this is how you do it. And this is a real shame on the devs, shame on Sony for the Q&A department of even allowing this trash to even exist on the store. And this game doesn't have a fucking menu, surprisingly. You know, it's 2023, games don't have menus anymore, it's taking inspiration from the other future indie games that are fucking champions of that. We're gonna leave those names out of this review. This is an avoid at all costs at normal price, don't you dare do it, it's due to fight garbage, shit turns in a basket, it's hot fire that will burn you, it will hurt you, it'll hurt your eyes when you wear it and you walk in this world. The virtual reality is trashified, assified, there's nothing here for you other than disappointment and depression. This is a depression game. This is the game will give you depression. The VR death game show of depression in the recession. This is like inflation, the video game. This is take all your money and give you nothing. Give you the poor man's cookie. This is taking your cookies and milk in the jail cell. Five dollars is even asking way too much for this game. And the devs need to be ridiculed for this because it's just unnecessary. It's, it's just, it's just, it's un-American. It's, it's. It, it doesn't need to exist. Get rid of it. Delete it. Yeet it and delete it. My stomach is grumbling right now because of how trash this game is. It made me hungry. Even talking about this game turns me off. We here at NGI give Super Death Game Show VR on the PSVR 2 a 2 out of 10. Make sure you stay up to date with all the latest gaming tech news and reviews. Smash that like. And as always, hit that fucking subscribe button. I'm going to see you guys in the next stream of video. God bless and peace. Congratulations on accomplishing your mission. Shut up. Perhaps the mission was too easy for the challenger. Let's go, World Cup Part 2. Let's go. Start. Can't stop me on the best goalie in the world. Yo, what? Alright, alright. Ha, sucker. Fuck going on now, biatch. Okay. Yeah. I wanna pop tart, bitch. I wanna pop tart. Damn. I wanna pop tart, bitch. I wanna pop tart.